Welcome spiritual viewers to Animal World, our co-inhabitants on Supreme Master Television, where today we feature the first in a three-part program about the fascinating research of Dr. Rupert Sheldrake. Dr. Sheldrake is an expert in the study of animal behavior and one of the world's most visionary and innovative biologists, who has written more than 80 scientific papers and 10 books, including The Presence of the Past, other unexplained powers of animals and the rebirth of nature. He studied biochemistry and other natural sciences at Cambridge University in England and philosophy at Harvard University in the United States before returning to Cambridge for a PhD in biochemistry. In the area of research, Dr. Sheldrake is well known for his pioneering studies on animal telepathy and behavior, from which he concluded that our animal friends possess high intelligence and deep emotions, as well as the ability to know our thoughts and intentions. He has proven what many animal caregivers have instinctively perceived, that there is a strong telepathic force connecting us to our animal companions, and this telepathic ability does not diminish with distance. His notable work in animal behavior is helping humans form closer bonds with the animal kingdom and establish better interaction with their animal friends. We now welcome Dr. Rupert Sheldrake to our show. I'm a scientist, I'm a biologist, um, and I've studied plant development, um, animal biology. I've done research in animal behavior for years now and in unexplained aspects of human behavior. Many people have found that their dogs or cats seem to know when they're coming home. Uh, in millions of households around the world, on a daily basis, dogs go and wait at a door or window when someone's coming home. Now, is this something that's telepathic? Is it just a matter of routine? Um, is it a matter of picking up clues from people at home. These are the questions that come up when you think about this. I found that most of my scientific colleagues just dismissed the phenomenon. They said, oh, it's just routine, or it must be hearing a familiar car engine, or something like that. I was convinced there was more going on, because I had so many stories from people that showed that something real seems to be happening here. In some cases, the dogs wait 10 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour before the person comes home. I set up a whole series of experiments to test it. The question is, do dogs really know when people are coming home by telepathy, or is it just a matter of routine, um, doing it at the same time every day, or hearing a familiar car sound? That's why I started a series of experiments with JT, a terrier that lives in the north of England. JT used to wait at the window when his owner was coming home. And he did this on a regular basis almost every day, even when she came at different times. So what we did was experiments where we had her go at least five miles away from home. Then uh, we had her come home at random times. I signaled a random time to her by a telephone pager. She didn't know when she was going to go home until she got the signal. To avoid familiar car sounds, she traveled by a different taxi each time. And to record what the dog did, we had a camera pointing at the place it waited in her home. So from the time-coded videotape, we could see exactly when the dog went to the door. And what we found was that the dog started waiting for her, not just when she set off to come home, but when she got the message to come home. When she got a message saying, go home now, that's when it started waiting, even before she got in the car. Whereas in the period before she went home, it hardly ever went to the window. It sometimes went to look at a passing cat or something like that, but um, it wasn't waiting there. In a hundred experiments that we did, uh, the dog was waiting for her when she decided to come home 85 times out of a hundred. Now there were 15 times it didn't react so quickly, and some of those it was sick, uh, in others it was fast asleep after a long walk. It uh, seemed to pick up its owner's intentions most of the time and knew when she was coming home. In scientific investigation, the repeatability of an experiment is essential to demonstrate that the results were not simply a product of chance. What happened when this experiment was replicated? 
These experiments were repeated by a skeptic who challenged our results and he got the same results. We did another series of experiments with a dog called Cain, a Rhodesian Ridgeback. Cain's owner was a student who came home at different times of day and her partner noticed that the dog always responded to her coming home by waiting at the window. So we did the same kinds of experiments with Cain. We filmed the place the dog waited. Uh, we had her come home at random times in unfamiliar vehicles. And Cain, like JT, waited at the window when she was on the way home. And this was at randomly chosen times, so it wasn't a matter of routine. What this did was confirm the results that we had with JT. Uh, it showed that this phenomenon wasn't just confined to JT, that other dogs did it too. I'm sure that millions of dogs do it, um, but when we'd done it with two dogs, uh, we did it with three or four other dogs as well. Not so many experiments, but enough to show this is quite a general phenomenon. This is something which many people can observe for themselves. And this also would make a brilliant student project if any students are looking for biology projects. Uh, it's a very simple thing to film where the dog waits. Nowadays cameras are pretty cheap, webcams would do. Um, and have people come at randomised times. And uh, this is something that anyone can observe for themselves. Dr Sheldrake has also performed experiments that have demonstrated our canine companions are able to perceive when we are thinking about them. He now provides several examples. There are lots of ways that um, animals pick up their owner's intentions. When they're at home, uh, they often know what their owner's intending. Some dogs, for example, pick up when their owners are planning to take them for a walk. Now, obviously, it's not very surprising if the owner says, we're going for a walk, and gets out a lead and puts their coat on. Uh, that's pretty straightforward. Um, but some people have found that uh, their dogs pick up their intention to take them for a walk. Uh, when they're in another room. For example, uh, one woman told me she's working at her computer. It was a lovely day outside. She suddenly thought, well, this is really boring. I need a break. I'll take the dog for a walk. And about 10 seconds later, the dog bounced into the room looking very excited and obviously knew that she was going to take it for a walk. We've done experiments on that too. Uh, we uh, did them with a woman who lived in the north of England who had five dogs. And we shut the dogs in an outbuilding outside her house. We filmed them. And then at a randomly chosen time, she decided to take them for a walk and thought about it for five minutes before she actually went and took them for a walk. And what you see on the film is that most of the time they're just lying around. And then they start getting quite excited. Uh, one of them went to the door first, then the others followed. And by the time she actually opened the door to take them for a walk, there was a little semicircle of five dogs sitting around the door looking expectant. We did this several times, and it was quite clear that these dogs really were responding to her intention. Dogs can pick up people's uh, emotions in other ways too. They know when they're going to be fed sometimes. Many of those who care for an animal companion have observed, on occasions, the animal's unexplained perceptiveness. For instance, it has been documented that some animals, such as cats, may behave strangely prior to an earthquake. There is also much evidence that animal companions can immediately sense major events that have occurred in their human friend's life. Some dogs know when their owners have had an accident, when they're away from home, or even when their owners have died. We have many cases on our records of dogs that howl for no apparent reason uh, when their master or mistress dies in an accident. And often the people looking after the dog don't know why the dog's behaving that way until a phone call comes and then they find out. Now obviously in cases like that, we have to rely on spontaneous cases. We can't ask people to die at random times so that we can observe their dog. Um, so uh, we can't actually do experiments there. But I appeal for information from people. We now have an internationally based database uh, with more than 5,000 case histories of dog and cat and other animal behavior. And it's quite clear that these are repetitive patterns. They've been observed all over the world. So I don't have any doubt that dogs can be telepathic with their owners from a distance, as well as when they're close by.
In a 2008 interview with Supreme Master Television, Dr. Sheldrake explained that during his scientific career, he has shunned conventional research involving animals, as he does not want them to come to any harm, for example through a vivisection. Avoiding meat himself, Dr. Sheldrake has the following kind words of advice for humanity regarding building future ties with the animal world. The single most important step in improving our relationship with animals is to eat less meat or give up eating meat altogether. Thank you Dr. Rupert Sheldrake for your wonderful life-affirming work on animal behavior. May your research efforts continue to be a beacon of light guiding the scientific community to a more compassionate future. For more details on Rupert Sheldrake, please visit www.sheldrake.org. Books and DVDs by Dr. Sheldrake are available at the same website. Fine viewers, please join us again next Saturday on Animal World, Our Co-Inhabitants, for part two of our interview with Dr. Sheldrake. Thank you for joining us today on our program. Up next is Enlightening Entertainment, after noteworthy news. May your life be blessed with abundant health and inner peace. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash aw.